We're talking to Rhode Island's Attorney General about a new weapon to combat violent crime. In a wide-ranging interview, Peter Dorona tells the Target 12 investigators his office is coupling technology with old-fashioned police work to nab criminals and their weapons before it leads to deadly consequences. Target 12 investigator Tim White sat down with Narona and is here now with the details. About a year ago, AG Narona quietly began a new initiative in an attempt to stop shootings before they happen. It included the rare move of deputizing a select group of police officers to be members of his office. Law enforcement in Rhode Island has been struggling this year with a surge of shootings in the state's urban core. If we're picking up the shell casings after somebody has been shot and trying to solve that homicide, we have failed. Oh. Attorney General Peter Narona says in the past um, year, he has brought police agencies together to share intelligence, something departments have traditionally been reluctant to do. The departments that are involved, Central Falls, Pawtucket, Providence, are the, the, the places where a lot of these bad actors are moving across municipal lines. They may engage in criminal activity in one city and lay their head at night in another one. The initiative included swearing in eight police officers to be investigators in the AG's office. That means they are now authorized to obtain a search warrant anywhere in the state. We don't have to wait to, to brief in another department in depth. We can simply get that warrant and get there quickly to recover that gun or prevent that act of violence. Narona says his office also used some of a $340,000 federal grant to hire a crime data analyst, and he's purchasing what's called a Nibin machine, which analyzes shell casings. Right now, Rhode Island only has one. The sooner we can get those things turned around, the more likely we'll be able to be to, to draw the connections that will help us solve some of these shootings. Narona says the initiative has already resulted in several cases, including straw purchase arrests. That's where someone buys a firearm legally, then sells it to someone who can't because of a criminal record. We have some success in hand already. We're going to see more of it. There's no doubt in my mind. Narona says the machine that analyzes shell casings cost about a half million dollars, which his office is paying for using forfeiture funds from crimes they have prosecuted. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.